How are you, Ragini? Good, how are you? Good. All right, now let's get our workout. Yes. Let's get our day started. It's cold outside. <laughs> this, yeah. Let's warm up. So it won't be cold and more when the blood rushes all over our body yeah. faster. So let's take deep breath in and a long breath out. And that will keep the cold away. And let's jog a little bit faster at one place. So that one, that will even make us warmer faster. And let's do some continuously jumping jacks. Let's go sideways with one leg at a time. And now let's bring your alternate, alternate knee, your elbow. Okay, we'll make your body warm and kick your core away. And let's do you know, at least 100 times our first we got a fire breathing exercise. Still. Wow, it warmed me, warmed me up. <laughs> yeah. Let's breathe in. Uh -huh. And breathe out as we bend our knees. Inhale and quickly exhale. Okay, now we are ready to stretch after warming up. Okay. So let's start as usual. So we are going to do as we did last time. We're going to inhale, raise your left arm, and keep your breath in, and then stretch. And now exhale. So what I mean is, you exhale after you have a good stretch while you're holding your breath in. So let's try doing that right arm, inhale, keep your breath in, keep on stretching. Now 
then stretch more. Let's do it <coughs> slightly different way. I'm going to put your <coughs> right hand at the right angle rather than not all the way back, not front, not on the side, but at the angle. You breathe in. And bring it back. Let's do the same thing. Raise your left hand at the left angle, same way. Right arm at the angle. Inhale. And then come back. Let's do the same thing with your both arms. So inhale, bring your arms up. You can interlock your fingers, except your index fingers, but hold your breath in. And then go to your right side. <clears throat> Exhale, stretch more. Inhale, come in the middle. And let's get ready for the stretch on the left side. Inhale, go to your left. And then come back. Let's do the same exercise with slight different position of your hands. So interlock your fingers and turn them forward. Inhale, stretch your arms up and then stretch as you hold your breath in and then exhale. And let's come back in a minute. Inhale. Go to your left. And then back down. Arms down. So when you stretch with your breath in, you will feel better stretching in your uh, upper body. Right behind your chest. Let's bring your feet apart. So we are going to do one more good exercise here. So breathe in here as you raise your arms up and you can bend your knees or keep them straight. And then exhale, bring your hands behind your body. So breathe in. And Keep your hands above the floor. Be careful so you don't hit your fingers on the floor. So that way, sometimes it's great warm up and also a great way to do breathing exercise and lower back. And let's bring the arms apart. And let's go into tabletop position and touch your outer feet, opposite feet. And let's place your hands in the middle and adjust your body, your feet, your back, make it flat, make your knees straight. 
Now let's bring your left hand forward, right hand behind. And let's count one, two, three, keep on changing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's place your hands down again. So this time we are going to go at the angle, the right side and left side. So let's try to bring your left hand away from your body, slightly over to your right and right hand over to your left. And let's switch one, two, three, four, go away from your feet. And more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's place your hands again down on the floor. And we're going to twist here this time. Left hand down, right arm up. And twist, look up. Same thing over to your left. You want to exhale in this position and you want to look up. Let's do one more time. Over to your right. And over to your left. Right. Let's walk your hands forward. And let's keep our hips backwards. And let's go forward with your hips and your chest. Drop your hips down. And let's go back. So it's upwards now with your feet apart and then down more stock. Let's repeat it and then hold it here. Place your knees apart and feet apart. So let's try to bring gently your hips backwards and forward as you have your feet apart. So it's slightly different than the next one we are going to do. So this one we keep the feet apart. And now let's bring your feet closer and knees even further away, so you will be able to go back more and then come forward. <clears throat> and now we are going to go backwards and place your hips down, I mean your elbows down, and let's bring in your knees even more apart as far as it can go, and then bring your elbows apart, and one hand on top of back of your other hand, and let's bring the chest down. Even you can bring your arms forward if you like. Or arms 
aside. And let's come up. And let's cross your, your feet or your ankles, your legs. And let's go all the way back onto your hips. And we are going to go back again. Come forward. And let's go back with keeping your head down and hips all the way back. So you stretch your lower back. And let's come forward. And let's go back. Let's go forward. Let's go back. And let's sit back. And let's do one more good breathing exercise here. We are going to place your hands onto your knees and curve your whole back. Breathe out. And breathe in as you expand your chest, bring your chin up. Breathe out quickly. So the faster we empty our chest, the um, more beneficial it is. Let's bring your arms apart and let's lean towards your left side as you bring your right arm up and then twist at the same times to look up towards your elbow, your upper elbow. And let's come back. Let's go over to your right side. Oh, right up, left arm over your head. You twist, look up, keep your chest high, your shoulder low, the right shoulder, the lower shoulder low. And let's come back. Let's place your left hand over your right thigh. Your right hand pointing up and then lean towards your left side as you twist. Breathe out. And then over to your left side, place your right hand over your right thigh, right hand over your left thigh. And then stretch. This is another great way to stretch your whole back, but make sure you keep your spine straight. Let's go forward. So place your hands down. First, we're gonna walk your hands forward. Down. And then walk your hands towards your left side or your left knee. And then over to your right knee. Mm. 
and then come back. Now let's twist. Place your left hand behind, your back, right hand over your left thigh. Make sure your back is straight, your spine is straight, and then twist. So we want to build our muscles in straight position. So that way, your normal posture becomes straight. Let's do the same thing over to your right side, right hand behind your back, left hand over your right thigh, and then twist. To do that. And then both hands behind and knees apart, lift your hips up. And then come down. Let's bring your feet apart. I mean, feet together, knees apart, your soles together. Let's go to your right, to your left. Just roll on your hips side to side. And now let's fold your right leg behind. This is a great quadricep stretch. And you can keep your uh, right heel close to your right hip and left hand behind. So you can lean on your elbow, your forearm and right arm over your head. Drop your head back. And let's do the same thing over to your right other side. So for your right leg in front of your body, left one behind, and then lean on your right arm, right forearm, behind your body as far as you can, and then left arm over your head, It's not only the quad stretch, but it's all the way up to your head. And let's come back. Again, let's place your feet together and roll side to side. Now let's hold your left foot. Either you hold your big toe, but preferably the middle of your foot and then stretch it forward. And then you're gonna move it to your left or to your right. And what you're doing here, so what you want to do is hold this foot in your both hands and see if you can move to your right, to your left. And now let's hold it only in your right hand, which is your opposite hand, and bring your other arm behind. And then move again to your right, to your left. So this way, you will have a great stretch of your hamstrings. Okay, let's do the same thing. Your right one, put your foot in your same hand, stretch it forward to your right, 
left and let's hold it in your both hands and then to right to left and hold it only in your opposite hand and same arm behind Very good. These hamstrings are very stubborn to stretch and belly is very stubborn to reduce. Okay, one more time, let's roll side to side as you have your feet together. Now let's cross your legs and come forward on your palms. Drop your hips down one more time. So it will be your counter pose. Your feet apart and knees off the floor. So bring your feet apart and now here bring your hips all the way back. So your head is close to your mat. So let's place your head on the floor and arms behind. And let's come up. So now here, let's try to keep your arms apart and then come up. So your feet are apart, your arms are apart, but be careful. Let's go down and then come up. Let's go down and then come up and then stay down. Let's place your hands down and bring your feet closer and closer, closer, closer. Now let's <clears throat> bring your arms apart <clears throat> and stand up. And let's again, do that uh, balancing preparation exercise are uh, also great for your knees. So we're gonna roll forward onto your toes, roll back onto your heels. From toes to heels, heels to toes. In the middle of your feet. Now let's roll only the outer part of your feet. So lift your inner part, go forward, backwards, forward, backwards. And now let's roll on inner part of your feet. and five. So that is rolling part. Now let's walk on your tippy toes, 10 steps forward and 10 steps backwards. So lift your heels up. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, let's do two more times. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One more time. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. And now let's do just only on your heels. So your the rest of the foot is off the floor except your heels. So three times, 10 steps forward, 10 steps backwards. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So these are great exercises for your knees and balancing. So let's do the balancing. Let's hold the right foot in the right hand. The left arm up and move your foot away from your body and then slightly forward and then straight up slightly forward and then come up one more time and then come back let's do the same thing with your left foot in your left hand right arm up and then bend forward and then come up. Two. And three. So that is our good balancing pose. Now let's turn. Actually, we can do in this position. Let's bring the feet apart. Your arms apart and then feet to your right. Body warm up, chase a buji. Go forward and just place your chin down and back foot off the floor. And then come back. Keep your left. And your knee. Straight. Let's go to your left side. Oh, uh, no. You can mute if you want. And then come back. You would like to keep your. Microphone muted. Okay. Let's bring the feet apart again. And bend your front and uh, your left, I mean feet to your left, and then your left knee bent. Let's place your left hand down and bring your right arm all the way forward and then down. Let's go again. Up, forward, down. One more time. Up, forward, and then place it down. Let's bring your back heel up. So your body facing down. So here, let's go forward. Bring your hips all the way down, your chest up. And now, here, let's go all the way back as you go into downwards dog. So front knee straight. Let's go forward again, like you're going to upwards dog. Let's go back. Let's go forward. We're going to do two more times. Breathe out as you go forward. 
Breathe in in the middle and breathe out as you go all the way back. One more time, forward. And then place your knee down. Let's place your foot down. And left hand onto your left thigh, your twist. And bring your left arm up. And let's go up. Let's place your both hands onto your thigh, hips forward, and your chest up. Bring your right arm up. The same arm, the leg is behind. Now here, it's up to you. You can put your back toes on the floor or keep them flat. Now bring your right hand all the way back onto your heel. And left arm up. And then come forward. Let's place your hands down on the floor. Your back toes on the floor, your back knee off the floor. Let's bring your front foot all the way up. Bend your upper knee and then twist. And then let's bring this foot all the way behind on the floor. So your hips are all the way up. And let's go back up, down on the floor. Come forward into plank. And then down. And let's go back into downward stock. Let's go forward into upward stock. One more time. And downward stock. Word stop. Now let's go into chant pose. Okay. Now let's do some push ups. They say that uh, if man can pass the past, then that means the man is healthy. And the test is to do 40 push-ups non-stop. And uh, women, they can do 20 push-ups non-stop. So let's try doing that. If you are able to lift your knees off the floor, that's great. Otherwise, Ragni, you can keep your knees on the floor. But keep your hips slightly forward. Your chest up, so you go down and come up, go down and come up. So let's do 20 or 40 non stop. This is middle hand push up. And after completion of 20 or 40, let's go on your back. And let's do a few abdominal exercises here. So let's bring your knees to your chest 
and your shoulders towards your knees. So let's squeeze your abdomen, stretch your lower back. Now let's bring your elbows and knees together. Let's stretch them. Legs forward, arms behind. Bring them together. Let's do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are simple, straightforward exercises. Eleven, twelve. 13, we involve lower abdomen and upper abdomen. Let's go for 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's do same exercise, same movements. Only thing we will do is Bring your fingers behind your skull and your neck. Lift your chest up. So this time we're gonna bring your head down and then head up. So let's bring your elbows and your knees together. Your knees stretched and your head down. So let's go up one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for ten more. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, and ten. So let's do one more good exercise before we do the next abdominal. So let's just inhale, lift your hips, just raise your arms in the behind. And then come down. Let's inhale, go up. And let's exhale, come down. Let's breathe in, go up. And breathe out. So we are going to do similar exercise. So we are going to touch your opposite elbow to your knee. So let's bring your hands. You don't interlock. You just keep your fingers separate. Bring your knees to your chest. Stretch your right knee. Bring your right elbow to your left knee. Let's go. Other side. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, ten more, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Eight, nine, and 30. You can do this exercise with speed so you can do more repetitions. And the version we did is a slow version. So we can do both versions, fast and slow. So let's try the fast version. And easily we can do 50 plus of those. All right, let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty,
Let's go into child pose. Let's bring your palms down into child pose. Stretch your elbows off the floor. And from here, let's, let's go into downward start by stretching your knees off the floor. Keep your shoulders down. Let's go into upward start. Let's go into downward start. Your right leg up. Bring your foot between your hands. And here, let's bring your left arm out and then right arm and then rise up in the middle. And let's come back. Let's do a few squats. And that squat we will do the middle squats. I mean, uh, closed feet squats. And then we will go for middle feet and outer feet. Let's do by holding your earlobes together. Make sure your hips go backwards, not forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Let's bring your feet apart, arms apart. Then feet to your right, and let's bring your right hand oh, inside your foot, and bring your left arm all the way forward, and then down. Let's move it. It's a great exercise for your shoulder. All the way forward, and then down. Again, roll, rotate it all the way down. Let's place your both feet, I mean both hands down. Turn your back heel up. Now from here, we're gonna go into upwards dog. We're keeping your foot forward. The hips down, the chest up. It's a great position for your lower back and hips. Let's go back into like downwards dog. Let's go forward. Five times, two. Three. Four. And five. Okay, let's place your knee down. Your right hand onto your thigh. And then twist. All the way to your right side. And bring your right arm up as you're twisting. And now let's come up with your both hands onto your thigh, hips forward, and your chest up. And let's bring your left arm up. And let's reach down to your heel with your left hand. And then right arm up. And then come back. And now let's place your both hands down on the floor, back toes on the floor, knee off the floor. Let's bring your front foot all the way up. I'm gonna bend your upper knee and then twist.
And then let this foot go all the way down behind your body. Lift your hips up. And let's come back. Your foot down on the floor into downward start. Let's go into upward start. Downward start. Three times. Forward. Back. One more time. And let's go into child pose. And we are going to do a few push-ups here again. But this time, we will do a diamond push-ups. Diamond push-ups when you have your index fingers together and your thumbs together. So knees down or knees up, doesn't matter. Either one is good. So let's go for 15. 20 or 25 or 30. So aim is men 30, women 15 or 20, or even 30. Don't feel that you are behind. You can keep up with 30. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, if you are done, let's go on your back. So let's, this time, we are going to bring your fingers again behind your neck and lift your whole upper body off the floor. Now knees to your chest and then straighten them up. Now, the position we are going to take from here is right leg down and right elbow towards your left knee. So right leg is still off the floor. Let's switch your legs. Right one down, left one down, right one up. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet together, your knees apart. Now let's involve stretching your lower back and then strengthening it. So we strengthen our lower back in its normal position. And then we strengthen our lower back in stretched position. So that way, even though you do different positions, actions, um, but sometimes our back, one way is strong, the other way is weak. So let's make that one strong. So what we'll do is drop your knees towards your right side. So that will stretch. And let's bring your right hand behind your head and chest towards ceiling. We are not 
bringing your chest towards your right side. So left arm behind your back, let's go up, touch your back, I mean your head back on the floor. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to your other side. So you want to keep your knees parallel to your waist. So bring your knees upwards, right hand behind, uh, behind your back, left hand behind your head and neck, fingers. Let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do similar exercise. This time, let's drop your both knees to your right side but stretch your upper leg, your left leg, all the way to your right side. And same way, right hand behind. Let's go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's drop your knees towards your left side. Stretch your upper leg. Left hand behind your head, right arm behind your back. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's go back into high plank position. So let's face down onto your palms. Then on your knees. So first we will do same exercise holding for 10 seconds and then we will go towards your right side and towards your left side. Let's go, your knees off the floor, hold down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Let's go to your left side, the right hand down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Knees down, stretch your lower back. <laughs> and from child pose, let's go into downwards dog. Knees off the floor, right leg up. Bring your knee forward to bring the foot between your hands. The right arm out, left arm out, arm up, and stand. Okay, we have now two more sets 
of our squats. So middle feet or down to your earlobes. Let's go for 20 of these. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Twenty two, three, twenty four, and twenty five. Let's do back to back. One more set. Wide feet. Go down to the elbows. Let's go. Keep your knees outwards. Three, four. Three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. And let's balance and relax your words by holding your foot in opposite hand. Bring your knee downwards, your left arm up. And let's switch your feet. Right foot in your left hand, right arm up. Stable your ankle. And let's come down. Okay, let's sit down. Let's do a couple of stretchings in here. Keep your left leg folded. Stretch your right leg. So that will relax your quads, your thigh, your hamstrings. When you bend, reach down to your right toes, left arm up. Lean towards your right side. And let's go all the way to your left side. Hold to your left forearm. Right arm up. Slight twist. And let's go on the other side. Neck leg stretched. Reach down to your toes with same hand. Right arm up. Pull in to his left. And then let's counter pose it all the way to your right side. Come back. Let's do pranayam. So we'll do kapal bhati. So we are going to pump your breath from your abdomen, we'll do three rounds, at least 300 each round, each repetition, each round with 300 repetitions. And don't forget to exhale at the end of each round, hold your breath out, and then slowly inhale, hold your breath in as well.
And just do one round of alternate breathing. But then we are going to breathe in and out is inhale in certain count and hold the exhale. So we inhale to left, hold and exhale to right. Let's inhale in count of 10 and hold it count of 10, then exhale in count of 20. So 10, 10, 20. So right, left to right, and then right to left. So that becomes one round. So let's do three of these. So let's close your right nostril. Inhale in count of 10, then we're gonna hold it for 10, and then exhale in count of 20.
Great. Let's chant at last. Om for three times. Oh. Oh my God, it was a good class. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. I just have a question for you, Devji. Yes. Um, like one side of the heel hurts. Um, I wonder what 